Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Outlaw Video TV. We got a show packed full of heavy metal, punk, rock and roll bands. Grego with us tonight. What's up, guys? We're going to play a song. And we'll be right back to bang you all night long. Our criminal now. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh. Oh. Oh.
becomes our criminal now. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh. I had your mic muted. All right, everybody. Greg Drums, the hardest hitting drummer in Dallas Fort Worth. What? Ha ha. Waja tonight. And LFD. Yeah, a little upset, Greg. Hey, uh, go ahead and uh, fly your, your music and your shows on our Outlaw Video TV telephone. What's going on with your bands, Grego? Well, uh, both bands right now are finishing up our next CD. So it's interesting because I was at, literally in the studio with both bands in the same month. So it, it's pretty badass. We got all the final tracks done. Now it's just down to mixing and mastering. LSD's got a couple tunes, that uh, some new tunes that we wrote. They're going to be in some movies that we've got to go ahead and do final vocals on. Literally songs we just wrote on the fly for the, for this particular movie. And uh, Dr. Gift is the movie. We just wrote a song that we got to lay vocals down on. But the, the CD is done. I don't know if this is going to be on the CD or not. I guess it's up to the guys. But uh, Hey, what was the name of the movie again, Grego? So uh, the movie, the, the name of the movie that this new song is coming on is Doctor Gift, and that movie is in production right now. We have Doctor Gift in production. Kick yeah, ass. We have, a, we have a song from um, uh, from the movie Course of Canada, which is out in theaters now, and uh, we have a song called The Trail. And if you go to YouTube, we have a ten or eleven minute video of us acting uh, in the beginning of the video, and then you got the tune. And for the movie, they use it as the as the ending credits for the movie. You're going to hear that song, and it's a great movie. Kick Every ass! Time. Look at Grego delivering the goods tonight on Outlaw Video TV. Let's back up to that movie. Where can we see it on YouTube? Um, the movie, I don't know, but if you'll go to Love Sick Drugs page oh. or channel, I guess on YouTube, uh, it's called The Trail. Uh, and that's the, the movie, though, is in theaters. So I'm not sure exactly what AMC theaters it's playing in. Huh? AMC Mesquite. AMC. AMC Mesquite is where it is locally. Kick ass. And then what you're saying is that the trailer is available on the Love Sick Drug YouTube channel. Well, the video, our video for the movie is, is, is on the Love Sick Drug channel. The trailer, you just, 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 just YouTube uh, Corsicana. The movie and that music video is an extended video, kind of like a, a Michael Jackson thriller type of a thing. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, exactly. All, Boom. Of, us, it's, uh, it's all of us members of Love Sick Drug doing the acting. Now, Billy, that's Blair, so much fun, dude. Do what? That's so much fun. Oh, dude, it's a blast. I love it. I love it. I'm it's good to see you, Grego. Oh, dude, I'm double excited by the fact that my band Waja, the Power Trio, is getting ready to release our new CD. And we just confirmed a slot uh, at for New Year's Eve over at Rob's Billiards. So okay. That'll be, cool. be like a little. And by then, hopefully, we'll have our CD release scheduled. But look for the date because it's coming. I'm, I'm thinking late January. You say that's a New Year's Eve show? Yep. New Year's Eve at Rob's Billiards. Do you know the date by chance? Do what? Do you know the date? Oh, yeah. Uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah, April or April. <laughs> well, I mean, December 31st. April 1st. Man. Why you got to fuck with the bro? I've been drinking tequila, bro. Come on. New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, be New, New Year's Eve, uh, December 31st. And we go on at 10 p.m. Do you know anybody else on that show, Grego? Uh, don't know who else is on the show yet. We just got added to the bill. So. All right, there you go. Waja at New Year's Eve at Big Rob's. Big Rob's has been booking some badass shows. That's what I'm saying, dude. Now, we did last New Year's Eve there, too, man. I did double duty with Waja and Left Sick Drug. Ain't going to do that again. I missed the whole New Year's Eve, man. I was on, on such things working the whole fucking night. Yeah, worked all night. Yeah, no, this time just, it's just Waja. 45 minutes by 11 o'clock, get my party on. <laughs> so right now is that the only show that Waja has booked? Uh, we are actually booked December third at the Rail Club. Okay. 
And I don't remember offhand what bands we're playing with, but yeah, we'll be on the bill December 3rd at the Rail Club. I'm just writing it down on my notepad. I've got right. notepads available over in my merchandise. If you want to get Outlaw Video TV notepads, they're extra large size. Sweet. Hell yeah. Just get around. It's a joke. Ah, you know, do what you gotta do, man. Uh, so check it out. Uh, but Lovesick Drug is taking time off to, to focus on wrapping up this CD and saying of our CD release. Makes sense. Okay. So, watch out, though, dude. We're, we're horse for gigging, dude. We, we just love to play, so we can't help ourselves. <laughs> yeah. We'll kick ass. Let me kick ass to see you guys out playing again. I know it's been a little bit. Y'all played around. When's your last show? Uh, Y'all did a show, show at Trees. Last weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we did, we did a, a, a Halloween party for a brother of ours last weekend, but it wasn't a big publicized show. It was it was just a little thing. We At Dirty Job Brewing, the, our old lead singer, Derek, from The Collective, uh, we did a collective set, and we did a Wajah set. Two six, two six. That's songs, right. right. Yeah, just a quick little Halloween thing for his brewery and his people and Dirty Job Brewing, man. If, if anybody gets a chance to go down there, you got it. He has he, he has a, he has a, he has a beer called the Short Stack, and it's a porter that is wickedly tasty. My favorite ever in Mansfield, in Mansfield, Texas. And you can walk around with your beer and like it's all cool down there. I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm always weird about that. Hell, we went to New Orleans a few weeks ago. I had a hard time walking around my hurricane, dude. I felt a little freaked out. Wow. That's hard to get used to, man, is the fact it's okay to walk around with a plastic cup. <laughs> uh, that's the way it's supposed to be in downtown Mansfield. You're supposed to be walking around with an alcoholic beverage in a cup. That would explain why we walked out to, uh, to our guitar player's truck to grab some shit with... Uh, Red solo cups full of beer. <laughs> and they're getting say no good. I don't right have on. the official answer, but I don't think anybody's had any issues. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure that because they have festivals down there and everything, that uh, that's the city, whatever. But anyway, right. I had a good time. Fucking go, Mansfield, dude. I dig that. Yeah, Mansfield's really been kicking how about that? Lost Grego on a Gomez Field. Thank you, Grego, for pounding your music and flyer here on the uh, telephone pole at Outlaw Video TV. I'm going to regroup. I'll play one song and I'll come back. We'll go through a concert calendar. Right now, what this show is all about, you can hear my voice is wore out, but I'll talk through this this evening. And... Um, uh, what the show is about is what you just saw Grego do. He came on and he told you all the information about his band, Wajo. Told you all the info about his band, Love Seek Demise. So y'all get over there to the Love Seek Demise YouTube channel and watch that video with that extended version. Because Billy Blair, Love Seek Demise. Here's my love, Billy Blair. Heavy love. Heavy love. There you go. Heavy love for Billy Blair. Um, love Seek Demise. That uh, used to be uh, Love Strick. Oh, it's Love Sick Drug. It used to be Love Sick Device. Anyway, that was my cousin, Nikki McKibben's band. And rest in peace, Nibby, Nikki, who's no longer with us. So uh, me and Billy are not tight or close or anything like that. I'm not trying to imply that. I'm just saying that he's near and dear to my heart. And his band always has been. And it's always fucking cool to see someone do cool shit. And... Uh, that video is a good time. So y'all get over there and watch it. And then also, um, before Grego left, we should have found out about where we can get the Waja. Let's see. Grego back in. I see you there. All right. There you go. <laughs> ah, sorry, man. The phone died. Totally unexpectedly. That's how you do it. Well, that's how you do it. If you ever get lost on the feed, just hop right back on when you're ready. It isn't a big deal. Man, I lost it. Siri just jumped on there for a second and blanked you all the way out, bro. Sorry. Yeah, Again? Oh, well, it's okay. It's part of this technology and kind of figuring it all out, man. So when, and, when I came in, you I, know, heard you mentioning, I heard you mentioning Nikki. When you came in, you mentioned Nikki. It was love-stricken yes. to mine. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love Stricken Demise was the band that she was in. Yep. And, and so I saw them several times. I saw them several times back in the day, and that was always a good show. Always really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Dude, yeah, that was Love Stricken Demise. And uh, 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 when she passed away, I guess they moved on to, to Love Sick Drug and, you know. But yeah, we are the we are the uh, you know the next step, I guess, from that. Well, I'm excited. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's going on. And I would tell everyone to go over to the YouTube channel again. Is what I was telling them. And yeah. uh, check out that video. Hopefully, everyone's gonna head on over there tonight, and they'll see uh, uh, some people show up. And uh, you know, see, there's a couple of people that watch Outlaw Video TV, and we can send a couple of people to places. Nice. Hey, how would we find uh, Waja? How are we gonna find your Waja music? Waja stuff. You'll have to go to you know on Facebook and do a search for. Well, actually, if you just go to Google and search mm-hmm. Waja music, one word, Waja music. Do a search, and it'll start throwing all of our stuff up there. Where you can get our old CD, uh, our last, not our old CD, but our last CD, and uh, where you can see our videos. Uh, we're on Facebook as Watch On Music. Um, and yeah, so if, if you Google one word, Watch On Music, you'll get all the links to where we're working on. There you go. And what about YouTube? Y'all have a YouTube channel. I just forget the name. Well, I mean, we have a YouTube channel. We don't maintain it, so there's really nothing on there right now. So it's not even worth pushing. I mean, you could you could do a search for Waja uh, on YouTube. You'll you'll see Green Cloud Numb, an old song of ours. I don't even know what else you'd see, really. I'm not sure. Well, now on YouTube Music, if you have YouTube Music, if you search Waja as you fall, you can get our our uh, last CD. So the whole CD is on, on YouTube, YouTube Music. Music. Yeah. And it's, it's, the cover is a, is, is a, like an antique white and black and has a claw going down a clock. So it's Waja As You Fall. And you can hear every track we have off that album. You can order that album on any uh, paying media, you know, iTunes or whatever. And, uh, and you can buy the CD. But it's a great prelude to what we have coming up. But what we have coming up is something special. It's, it's taken a long time in the making, but it is definitely something special. Glad to hear that, man. Always glad to hear you excited about new music. Absolutely. Yeah, um, I'm always promoting the YouTube channels because we're on YouTube. And so it's kind of the easiest step. But we're also live right now on Facebook, both Facebook and YouTube. Right on. The difference is, is that there's more people that watch us on YouTube because um, when they comment, we can see it. For the record, if anybody's watching us on Facebook, if they try to comment, it'll show up on the comment in Facebook, but it won't show up here. In order for it to show up here, you have to, uh, I don't know, there's some kind of special approval I have to give you. I forget what the fuck it is. (laughs) But my point is, it's important to take care of your YouTube channel because, you know, that's obviously where a lot of this is going. One of the reasons I'm doing this on YouTube is because, you know, I'm watching it on my television as my monitor. So, you know, half people watching this video whenever they watch it tonight or tomorrow or whenever, um, you know, they'll watch it on their television in their living room or in their bedroom. Well, hey, man. That being the case, don't hate me because I'm not wearing any fucking stage makeup or any kind of crap like that, man. Yeah. Literally just chilling. <laughs> yep. Well, that's what it's about, man. <laughs> Getting your music out there, you know, on a format that's actually reaching people. And what this is, um, if anybody's watching and wants to comment and say hi to Greg and ask him a question before he bells on us, he is drinking tequila, though, because uh, so... Uh, because he is in tequila tonight and brought his party along to Outlaw Video TV. Hell, he might be dancing naked on the tabletops here before long. <laughs> yep. Shot, shot, shot. Shots, dude. Hey, anybody want to do a shot? Just hit us up. I'll do a shot with you. There you go, dude. I'm That's badass. Shot, man. 
<laughs> that badass brother. I wish I could do shots with you. I can take a shot of ice water. Unfortunately, his cameraman has to go get the shots. No, that buys us time. Oh, that buys hey, us time. Yeah. Okay. This, Everybody else get their shots. Hey, check this out, Grego. Charge yeah, your phone up. Just hop back on. After you get your setup, just uh, take a break for like five minutes. I'll play a song, and I'll be here talking and come back in five or ten minutes. That sounds cool. Um, as far as Waja music, um, like I said, if you go if you go to the uh, to the uh, Yahoo mu or uh, not Yahoo fucking Yahoo. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, dude. Go to MySpace. No, no, no. no. Uh, you're okay, <laughs> man. You can you can do pretty much anything, but don't like uh, stick your you're... dick in the can without letting me know first or something like that. That's probably <laughs> right. real limitation. Now, YouTube Music, though. If you want to play something from Waja, you can go to YouTube Music and get it there. Uh, Moving Target would be a great song. Okay. There you go. So there I'm you go, gonna, everybody. If you want to hear some wild music, music, you know how to play. Hell yeah. Right on. And, and, back in five. Later, bro. and uh, get ready to see Waja on New Year's Eve. You already can plan your New Year's Eve plans. And I'm pretty sure that this weekend coming up is uh, Dank. Dank oh, and the Trespassing. release, dude. This weekend yeah. coming up. Hell yeah. See if I can find the flyer real quick. Right, talk to you guys later. All right. I don't think you need to do anything. So check this out. Uh, this is the flyer here for the show at uh, Big Rob's. So I have to wait just like 15 seconds for this to get from my phone to my television monitor. I've got a big screen monitor on my TV. So Big Rob's Halloween party. Friday, October Outlaw Video TV. So it's this Friday. Uh, Dank the Trespassers and Terry Johnson. Blues King Terry Johnson. Dank's got brand new music. Have you heard the new Dank yet? Okay. Wasn't sure if Greg goes left us or not. I was kind of trying to give him an out. That's what I've learned about the production side of doing this show. I really have to kind of give people a you know, space to do their thing. So uh, I have stuff to do anyway. I've got a concert here calendar to go through for you guys. And I'm very excited because you've been listening to Trespass play one of my very favorite new songs in Killdozer. So we'll play that here in just a minute. And then we'll also play some Dank before the show's over. We have brand new Brand new Trespassers, the Trespassers to play. So anyway, that's over in Euless off of Trinity Boulevard. Y'all go support Big Rob's damn good time Halloween party. And then uh, remember, we got a big dank keg party coming up too. But um, before that, I think there is another show. Uh, no. I brought this up to show you. There it is. At Competition Music, Saturday, November the 12th. Competition Music with the Trespassers and Dake. All right. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play another song. So let me go down here and pick us a flyer. What is that? That is October 27th. So that's this weekend. Saving Vice, the calling tour, Fort Worth. Um, looking for a venue. Anybody see the venue? Where's Dave when I need him? Hey, Dave Jarvis, you're supposed to be finding the venue. No, I'm, oh, there it is, at the rail. So that's a rail show right there. So I'll leave that up while I shoot the shit. And the reason I put that up is because when you guys design the flyers to fit like on the events, if they fit the uh, the event header perfectly, then they'll fit on my screen or in a video. And I will be making uh, edited videos of these shows also. My intention for everybody is to make effective videos, e edited and live stream and edited interviews. I'm not planning on just doing one of it. I'm planning on doing all of it. But I'm damn sure 
going to continue this live stream platform and all of you motherfucking heavy metal punk rock and roll motherfuckers good time tequila drinking head banging friends of mine uh need to uh, go ahead and put it on your schedule every wednesday night to come flyer your shows and your music on the outlaw video tv telephone pole like killdozer here brand new from the trespassers it's killdozer Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
about that? Some kill dozer for you right there. All right. What's uh, Tara Lee? Yes, Dank and the Trespassers at Big Rob's Costume Party. Tara Lee, thank you so very much for joining us in the chats. I appreciate your comments so much. I'm going to leave it right there until someone else comes and leaves another comment because there's nothing more important right here at Outlaw Video TV than everybody jumping on board in every way that you can and flyering your band's music and shows on our telephone pole. Uh, right here at Outlaw Video TV, just think of us as like the corner of Crowdus in Elm, right there in Deep Elm, where many, many a times, if you did not yourself, you saw me and all my drinking buddies uh, flyering our music and uh, shows on the telephone poles right there at Crowdus and M. So that's the concept here. I uh, am not asking bands to come on for an hour long interview. I'm asking bands to come on for five minutes or 10 minutes, just like you saw Grego do when he hopped on. He kind of gave us a quick lowdown on Waja and a quick lowdown on his other band, love sick drug now from there if he comes back on or when he comes back on i should say he's setting up for tequila shots right now so they could come back on with rage or they could forget all about us you know the clothes start coming off shit you got better things to do then hop online i get that but either way here's the idea is that everybody hops on and spends five minutes ten minutes right here outlaw video tv going over your music if you stay longer, it'll encourage other people to come on and do the same. But also, it gives me an opportunity to ask you a few more questions about your band. So right now, we're going to go back to that badass flyer, Tara, because I love fucking Dank. Brand new. I don't even know how to tell you how honored I am. Charlie Redding at Bolt Neck Studios to support Outlaw Video TV, the trespassers and your love and support, and Dank. And David Jarvis, especially. All my drinking buddies are in
Got it. How about that? My drinking buddy. Hell yeah. It's a fucking dank, dude. Isn't that an awesome song, man? I fucking love it. Dude, I love dank. <laughs> They're drinking, drinking tequila. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, by the way, I'm doing another shot here in a second. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light it up. Light it up for everybody, man. How much to take? So I'm talking about guys, come on, if anyone who shot with us, let's do this. We're out of tequila. By the way, I do my tequila with Mio. Hang on. I man, I just like a lot if I have one. I don't like salt. Well, no, I don't I don't like the salt or the, the lime's not bad, but Mio. Do a quick little splash of Mio in there. Oh, she's so sweet. Cheers, brother. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, that does it, dude. You can come around so I can see what I'm doing. Thank you, camera operator. Right? Let's be me, me, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Grego, we have someone in our live chat named Tara Lee. You know Tara Lee? Tara Lee? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't. It's I okay. Name, but I might know the face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, she says, uh, both studios and sound reinforcement Charlie working wonders for musicians every day. We love them so much. And then she has another comment here that I want to read real quick. This is Tara Lee She's in the comments, if you can't see that. And she says, uh, that costume party, one buck fifty for the best costume. So She's letting us know that you can uh, win a uh, hundred and fifty dollars for the best costume this weekend at Big Rob. So apparently Tara oh! Lee is associated with Big Rob. Sweet. By the way, I say Rob's billiards. Big Rob's is already booked New Year's. <laughs> it's Big Rob's. Yep, that's it. Yep. Right. Yep. That's well, cool, dude. this what weekend is that Dank show. The Trespassers and Dank is this weekend. It's going to be a fun show. Hell yeah. I think we're going to swing by there uh, probably around 10, 11 o'clock and, and hang out for the rest of the night. That's like home base for us. Man. We love Rob's. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's that one. I've got another comment. I, I think was Tara is in from Rob's. Do you? Yeah, it's Tara from Rob's. Uh, yeah. Uh, bass player for the Trespassers. So it's like Tara Lee. She is the bass player for the Trespassers. So thank you, Tara Lee. I got to see When you, you feel Love comfortable. You, My baby says I know you. Love you. I don't know names, man. I can't keep on names, dude. So she I plays can't... that band, uh, that song Kill Dozer. Yep. That's the Trespassers. And they're playing this weekend at Big Ross. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so she plays bass in that band. Yeah, right we're going to try right to make the Friday night. Yeah. The 28th, right? So, Kick Cat Lee, thank you for letting us know uh, in the chats. Absolutely. Dude, she's so good. She's going to fuck me when I see her, dude. I know she is. I know she yeah. is, but she's going to fuck me. I'm sorry. I remember your name. You're sorry. It's horrible. Oh, uh, no, she won't, man. She understands. Trust me. She, <laughs> she has the advantage of seeing your face, though, so she's going to absolutely be able to spot you. But you're I'm already ready. a hometown hero, so everybody knows you. <laughs> this, 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 this is a face you can't forget. It's a face only a mother and my baby can love. <laughs> <laughs> well, and me. Hey, I'll oh, love yeah. you forever, brother. Speaking of which, when are we going to go back to the studio, bro? I'm waiting. I'm ready to go. Thank you. All I know to do is say thank you. You know, it's always money. I feel you. It's so funny. Jim Wright's been on the show a few times, right? And so yeah. uh, we haven't talked about my, my music, but when I'm talking to other musicians and Jim's on the show, I'm like, yeah, but as soon as you get the money, right? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah it's the money. It's always the fucking money. It's always the money, dude. That mm -hmm. sucks. Uh, but I cannot wait to hear what you come up with next, dude. For real. I'm ready. I'm ready, willing, and able, bro. Just send it to me. Let's do this.
Yeah, yeah. It, it's going to happen for sure. So thank you very much. You hear that, everybody? That's how badass Grego is right there, man. He's egging me on to record my songs. Grego, for there the is. record, I haven't mentioned it yet tonight, that Grego played the drums on my songs. I'm a lucky motherfucker that I got two songs recorded. And Grego played the drums, and they wouldn't be what they are without you. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. You rock. They're great. They're great songs, bro. Both of them in their own fucking right. They got a great groove to them, and both of them are very distinctive, which I love. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's not all just vanilla, the same shit over and over. You get two songs, and both songs have their very own groove, and they're beautiful. Ah, thank you. Wow, thank you. I think they are. You know, I enjoyed listening to them. So thank you. Oh, actually, you know, it gives me uh, a chance to reach readers, out of the like, whole. I've had people tell me the hard candy girl was just too, you know, yeah, too much. <laughs> oh, whatever, dude. It, hard Rock Candy Girl's got her own groove, man. It, that, that's her groove, and she's going for a certain direction. She's hitting it, dude, I, I think. I think. That's, that's why I was laughing about it, because that's the song that most people like. Yeah, yeah. You know, tell you the truth, though, dude, that's my favorite. Yeah. That's, this fucking punk and straightforward just fucking ah! yeah. yeah it's it's definitely more representative of most of my music yeah dude i dig it I dig that it. hard it's candy girl was just a that came together that i knew i had to you know i had to write that song oh yeah no i feel you i think you're songwriter bro you got to get it out and yeah I'm, especially I'm that one capture whatever emotion that you have involved in that song i, I want to help you capture that with my drums so that's my thing uh, you did magnificently, brother. You you really hit the drums hard, man. So, I mean, I think about re-recording. I don't even think of because I don't know anybody that hits the drums as hard as you do like that. <laughs> hey, man, I love it, bro. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Love Sick Drug, Billy Blair, they're very fortunate to have you. And obviously, so is I have a habit of doing that because I can hear you better, right? <laughs> so everybody, get out and see Grego. You can tell he's a good time. Yeah, come on, guys, dude. We'll have a fucking great time. I promise you. Come up, say hey to me, and my baby. We'll fucking hang out, do some shots, dude. We ain't scared. Ooh, tequila. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, man, we we want we want to make sure everybody that comes out to see us. It's a great time. So. Anytime you come out and see Wadja, come out and see Love Sick Drug, dude, we'll, we'll throw down. Dude. It's going to be great. I mean, I promise you. Any, any show you come out to that, that we're involved in with, with, with Wadja or Love Sick Drug, it's going to be a good time. Both bands are. I, I, I second that. And uh, make sure that you know, you know, as long as I'm doing this show, I will definitely be promoting everything Wadja and everything Love Sick Drug every fucking week. Good, man. I appreciate you, brother. Oh hell well, yeah! I can ask, man. I I just love working with you on your shit. So bring me more shit. That's all I can say. Uh, well, that's how all this, is, man. I'm I'm just trying to squeeze a nut like everyone else, right? And I need to have my music heard. And so I've been working on this outlaw video TV for years, and uh, you know, just kicking it around. There were times where I was really serious about it. Like, I have a Texas Metal Alliance interview here, Outlaw TV. Texas Metal Alliance became War Beast. So I have a couple of crucial early War Beast interviews. And then I did the uh, first War Beast record release video. So I've done some cool shit here at times, but not enough to really keep it going as a channel, you know. But that's what I, we can do I, I the hell, dude. Let me know. Yeah, well, that's what I decided I would do was just go ahead and focus on building this channel, especially with this live stream, so that you know we can promote our music. And since I take that approach to it, Grego, I'm you know here unashamedly to promote my music and have a good time with you guys. Yeah, you know it's already caught on. Nice. The shows that we've done in the past always have about 200 views, you know, or so within a day or two. And so that's not bad. No, no. Dude, I'm internet illiterate, bro. So I know I know nothing about 
like I was amazed I even got on the fucking show. You asked me to do it, but I'm like I said, I'm 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 just I'm not really even my Facebook, bro. Check my Facebook, guys. Uh, Grego Drums is my Facebook. Check it out. It is mostly what other people tag me in because I suck at you know keeping shit up. But you know, anyway, I will get to it at least once a week. I check it. So if you message me, I'll get it right away because that's the hook up my phone that way. But uh, just check out the page. Enjoy what we got going on. See what people tag me in. Brother, you got to tag me in all kinds of shit. You got to. Because I, I will. I, I suck at getting it put up on my own. I think you're all right there, Grego. I, you know, uh, if you have other people tagging you, you know, we'd rather you be playing drums. Again. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Because, yeah, that, that's I spent a lot of my time, uh, not only between my bands, but also uh, working, doing session work. So I spent a lot of time on the electronic kit at the house. And... Um, Making sure that uh, that I stay up on all, all my chops so that when I go in the studio or when I go on a stage, that whatever I'm playing is solid and, and, and you can count on it. I need all you guys to count on what I'm playing. That That's the important thing. So uh, I can do Facebook. Count. Like one, two, the, three, four. Part. One, two, three, four. Exactly. exactly. We're counting on you. Yep, exactly. I want you to be able to count on me, so I got to make sure my shit's together. So. I don't spend a lot of time online. I'm amazed I can get on here. And I, I tried. I really did. And I made it. Yay. Uh, I want to say thank you to your, uh, your crew. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, my baby Nina. If it wasn't for her, I, I probably wouldn't have gotten this far. I promise you. <laughs> I, I believe that. That's why I'm making sure I say thank you very much for making sure that Grego gets here tonight. Because, <laughs> hey, this is very fucking cool to me. Yeah, I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. This is great. Yeah, man. You know, just like once a month or so, you know, you'll want to come on and promote your shows. Hell I can yeah. do it. I can do it from there. You're welcome every week. That's what I tell everyone. You're welcome every week. But, you know, I am I understand. I'm asking you to take time out of your day and hop on here and shoot the shit. And it takes a little bit of effort to do that. Dude, you nailed it this week. I mean, you nailed it. You did perfect by just just. Send me the link. Let me know. It's time. Now I know. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you get. Yeah, you that's the way it works. I'm prepared. I'm just, this is me. <laughs> Let's do this. Bedroom hair and all. Hell yeah. Should put a hat on. <laughs> well, uh, give us a little bit of insight into uh, the Waja record. Why don't you tell us about a couple of songs and uh, give us something to look forward to. Okay, well, check this out. The Wadja record. Is your own car coming? Yeah. Okay. The Wadja record, dude. I'm telling you. So, so we uh, we tracked at Session Works, and uh, Jeff Session, dude. It's it's uh, you know uh, Jeff Mount is amazing. And Session Works Studios. If anybody wants to track a CD and you want to do it right, especially if you're a drummer, you got to go to Session Works, dude. Jeff. Jeff Mount is the bomb, dude. I mean, he's he's where I want to track all my shit going forward. I mean, Love Sick Drug turned me on to him with their stuff, and so I brought Waja in there, and we tracked there. And uh, the music it's getting mixed down now. We have uh, every song is a badass song in of its own right. My favorite, I guess, one of my favorites anyway, is uh, Yours for the Moment, and it is uh, our bass player gets to do her funk thing, get her get her flea on. Which makes me feel really good. And I like to play the funk and I love the funk. So and it's a very funky, heavy tune. It's it's badass. If you guys like really, really heavy, I mean heavy freaking riffs and good funky grooves, uh, but you know, are not a big fan of screaming or you don't need to hear screaming in the music, you, we're, you got you gotta check us out. Cause we are very heavy riffs with all singing vocals. And it's 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 fucking badass. I love it. Do you sing also, Grego? I uh, I do not. I do not. I thought but about Laura. Screaming. Do I? Your both the other members do. So you have two no, singers. It, no, it's just one singer, Scott Brooks, our our, our uh, lead singer and guitar player. That's it. Okay. Yeah, and but he he utilizes two mics on the stage so that he can go back and forth from side to side, and him and Laura keep trading positions on stage and those two fuckers do a great job of filling up a stage for a three piece. Just saying. Yeah. Raising hell. Oh yeah. Completely. It's badass. 
So, but uh, so I say love sick drug or love sick drug. Sorry, um, I would say just for the moment and um, wait. Oh, I like the new one. Which one? Yours for the or not yours for the moment. Um, um, one in a million. No. One in a million is a wash. Oh, pound. 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 My baby loves pound. So we wrote pound and one in a million in the studio. While we were there, we wrote these two songs. Not one in a million. You didn't pound and um, one in a million. No, one in a million. You've been playing. Hello, David. We have done. But that. Oh wait, yes, we have. What was it? What was the name of the song? Sorry, I was getting tired. <laughs> um, oh no, I'm just saying hi to David DeGrande in the chats. What's up, David? Hey, David. Sorry, he man. They were showing the chat in my fucking screen here. So. <laughs> yeah, pound is my favorite, and pound you'll only hear on the new CD. You only hear all of them on the new CD, honey. Oh, we have, we're not playing Pound, is what you're saying. Yeah, you're not so, playing Pound live. There's Pound, Pound and one a- other tune that I can't remember now that we wrote in the studio. Um, and we haven't even performed them live yet. We'll do it the first time at our CD release. That's what we'll play for the, live for the first time. You or me. Yeah, me or you. Yeah, uh, me or you. That's the name of the song, me or you. Those two tunes we played for the first time on stage at our CD release. But uh, nonetheless... I, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, it's going to be great. It's, it's badass. I feel like it's the best. We all feel like it's the best CD we put together. And our bass players had so much uh, to do with it. And, and uh, riffs have been based on stuff she brought to the table, which is unusual for us. Um, that a bass player brings riffs to the table. But it's been, it's been insane, man. It's going to be a great fucking CD. And a great CD release whenever we finish mixing it and to get it out there. Kick ass to see you so excited, brother. <laughs> oh, I am. I am. It's badass. I can't wait. Well, you know, so many musicians, you know, are, uh, you know, got have other priorities for whatever reason. And it's just good to see someone accomplish some fucking music and having a good time doing it. Thanks, brother. Dude, it's it's it's, it's what I know. It's, it's the only thing. Well, it's not the only thing that makes me happy, but it makes me happy. <laughs> it, it fulfills me. So without music, I couldn't do anything. And I, I recognize and appreciate uh, what music does for me, what drumming does for me. And it does. It, it, without it, I'm not me. So, yeah. I can't not do it. I tried that. It sucked. <laughs> Just saying. Glad you found your way, brother. Glad you found your way. Absolutely. Now, uh, we're going to sign off. find their way out to go see you kick some ass. Yes, that'd be great. You're gonna you're gonna watch somebody who literally loves what they do. I ain't I ain't trying to do it to be a big guy to get show to be to draw pussy. Don't give a fuck me any of that stuff. I do it for the music, and I fucking love that. I love everything about percussion. Fucking love it. Ah, I can't help it. And if I can put on a show for you people, it makes it twice as good for me. So hey, just tell right. us about some of your uh, your new kids, some of your new bells. Do what? Tell us about your newest kit and some of your newest bells and uh, cymbals. Oh, man. Which kit do I get started with, man? I mean, I, I, I got you. My, my newest kit is a kit you're going to see live, and that's Pepper. Uh, and she's a uh, 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 DW Performance Series uh, 2020, baby, 2021. But anyway, uh, uh, dude, I just, you know, my kits, man. So, uh, I play Athena with Lovesick Drug, and, and she is a 2002 DW Collector Series, and she's big and bold, which is what Lovesick Drug is. And Pepper is more refined and, and, and exact and, you know, just, uh, and that's more like the progressiveness of Waja is. And mm-hmm. Big and bold, she's tight and punchy and all that stuff, but uh uh, my latest kit. What latest kit? I think that's my last kit. That's your latest kit. That's my latest kit. Okay. Now you've been behaving yourself. Yes. I'm I think it's it's maybe been a uh, maybe a year or something since you got it. When did you get that kit? Oh, now yes. Uh, I got I got Pepper about a year and a half ago. Okay, time flies, right? Now, but when I when I was when you and I tracked, I specifically chose Raven. 
And Ravens, my 2003 CW Exotic Collector Series. And she she's a uh, she's a uh, a spider pine, and I want to track that with you. That's the kit I want to use with you. That that's the kit I leave protected in the Wajah studio. And wow. I practice with her because I, she just sounds incredible. But I keep her protected. She doesn't go on the road anymore. I don't, I don't take her out because she's uh, she she's a, a lacquer finish, and there's she's one of only approximately one hundred made. So she stays protected. And but I tracked her with you because uh, we were in my 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 rehearsal studios in the same building as the recording studio, so it was nothing to bring her over and track with you. And she sounds beautiful. So those are the reasons I tracked with you. But she stays protected. Uh, both, Man, I feel both like really special. Yeah, both that makes me feel rapped. special. Hey, someone's asking. I've got President Christopher in the live chat. How long are your forearms? How long what? So asking how long your forearms. I, I don't know what kind of question that is. Is that a problem? <laughs> long. Is that a problem? My dick. Really long. <laughs> I don't know. I never measured. There you go, much. President Christopher. <laughs> I can just say really long. Really long. Oh, I love you. Yes. So. I'm just playing I, I with the, just playing with the people not. in the chat. They're having a good yeah. time, man. We'll have a good time with them, right? Hell yeah! It's I'm talking about big four <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. But uh, uh, it, it matters not playing wise. Uh, my shit's all close, and I like to exaggerate what I'm doing and flail out and all that stuff and make a bigger show. But at the end of the day, man, everything's real close. You I see can that? Almost tucked and play everything. <laughs> I, I should have gotten a better shot of that. Do that again. Yeah, that? yeah that's wonderful. Yeah, I can play. Lovely. I can play like that totally. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. But it's but I, I like to put emotion to what I do, so that's very mechanical and doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at this president for guy in the uh, chats also. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can't see the, the uh, comments, so. Well, uh, that's why I read it to you. Uh, he said he's uh, something about, I don't know, I think he's inviting people over to his channel or something. So it ain't a big oh. deal. Oh. If he was asking something worthwhile, I would definitely say it. Uh, right on. Sounds right good. On. Good, man. <laughs> now, I do think we're going to go, though. Um, there's uh, there's Jay's to be smoked and uh, uh, tequila to be shot. So. Yeah. Yeah, damn right. damn right. And that's why also I don't ask everybody to hang out with me. If I was, uh, you know, for two hours, if I was drinking, I'd probably say, hey, let's hang out a little longer. But well, hey, man, we can't think of it. What needs to happen is I need to come to your studio and we need to go and drink them. Yeah. That would be oh, fun. yeah. We can do it. All right. Let's do that. I'm in South Arlington, y'all. So anytime. Sweet. Well, we're, we're and I'm going to be here straight, every Wednesday night, y'all. Right on. Take it easy, yes, brother. Sir. Take it easy, guys. Tell, tell so your baby and your cameraman I'm going to be here every Wednesday night, 9 to 11. And I don't expect you to be here every Wednesday, but you want to make it a point to be here every so often. And I'll be promoting your show every week. And you fucking come here and make yourself at home, God damn it. Good, man. We're going to do it. I promise. Thank you, Greg. See you next time and at the next show. Sounds good. Sounds Later good. on, brother. Bye. Later on, All right. guys. Have a good one. Everybody say hello and goodbye to Grego. We're going to play one more song by me and my dead friend. With the hard candy girl, the kind that you suck on, show me down your
Where is that hard candy girl? The kind that you suck on. Show me down your aisle. How many licks does it take to get to the middle? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Outlaw Video TV. That was me and my dead friends featuring on lead guitar, Kayla Kent, bringing those shreds, banging those drums harder than anyone else in Dallas-Fort Worth. That's Greg Kramer, Grego, affectionately known. You'll be seeing him jam New Year's Eve at Big Rob's with his band Waja, with his forms wailing like a motherfucking mad machine with Waja. You guys got to get out and check out his band at all of his shows. By the fucking record, because this is all original. Do you hear that? This isn't a cover band. His other band isn't a cover band. My band's not a cover band. We make original music. Grego is happy. He, do you hear that? He's got his drum kit set aside to fucking play on my songs. I do have two songs tracked, um, the, um, tracked to metronome. So two songs tracked to metronome. Ready, but again, it's money. So uh, if you want to support Outlaw Video TV and me and my dad friends, send some money right on over and I'll head right on over to Avalon until I can uh, <clears throat> sit in a jacuzzi with uh, Jeff Mounts long enough for the uh, jacuzzi treatment production or boogie my ass right on back over to Avalon Studios. Jim Wright, who is really the genius behind the production of those songs. And before I'm done, Richard Gish, Richard Gish of Gibson Cemetery. So bringing it full circle, Richard Gish is the bass player that makes that song fucking sound so killer. So it takes all of those people. Those songs would not sound like they do without Greg Kramer on drums, Richard Gish on bass, me and uh, Kayla. And then same thing with the other song is Tell You The Truth. And that one has Rick Perry on lead guitar. Well, the other member involved here, the other person involved is the engineer, production engineer, production supreme, nuts and bolts, give a fuck, is Jim Wright. So without Jim Wright, it wouldn't sound like what it does. So, um, you know, I kind of like that process. And it's not that Jim's overcharging me or anything. It's, uh, you know, it just cost fucking money. And I respect that. So anyway, I got my flyer up there for the telephone pole. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over some shows that are upcoming. We got the, uh, the, uh, Nar Narwhal, the Narwhal Fest. Let's go ahead and turn that off real quick. With Among the Falling. So we still have time to promote this show. It's a November show, November 11th at Halton Theater. Narstock, the Well Fest. With Narwhal, that's the name of the band, Narwhal. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Pretty fucking cool. Among Fallen, I'm really excited about them. That's my buddy, Jesse Green. He's all shredding right now or something. Uh, but he'll be on the show as soon as he crawls his way up here, begging for mercy, going, oh, Rick, can I still come on? No, I'm playing. I have to say that shit, dickhead. Just get your uh, Persecution Complex and I Hate. I Hate has brand new music. We expect to be premiering it here as soon as those guys come on by because that is a uh, Charlie Redden band at Nuts, at Nuts and Bolts at Bolt Neck. <laughs> Nuts and Bolts. And then this is Kayla Kent here. Rick Perry that plays on my other song. Uh, that's him there. He's the guy that plays lead guitar on the song Tell You the Truth. And he has a band called Iron Jaw. 
And here in just a little bit, before this show is over, we will play some Iron Jaw, brand new song called Tonight We Rage, is what it's called by Iron Jaw. And here's another band, uh, listeners in the evening tonight, listening to Outlaw Video TV, we have Walls of Sound. That's Greg Walls. Greg Walls is a badass guitar player and songwriter. I think all five songs on his record, it's a year old, might be two years old by now, but it's a five song EP, I guess, where he released five songs. And they're all kick ass. Uh, we are survivors is one. Okay, this one here, I'm gonna have to wait for it to come up on the screen so that I can talk about it. While I'm going over these shows, this is a great time. Any bands listening, any bands that tune in real quick, this is a good time to go, hey, let's hop on there and talk. So see there, Austin. There's going to be a couple of shows like that. I think that's left over from last week. But it's okay. I'm going to go through these, and it just takes me a minute because I have, uh, you know. So this show is in California, and I already knew that when I clicked on it. But I clicked on it anyway because I wanted to show the um, the uh, DRI. DRI is out on tour. So everybody send good vibes for DRI 40th anniversary tour. And y'all get out and support those shows. Halloween Bash. There you go. We're back in town. Friday, October the 28th. Halloween Bash 22 at Haltom Theater. $12 cover. The Confessionist. Perceived. Last of the Sane. Awaken to remember. I think that too is in there. I've seen that band. Okay. So there it is. You got your Halloween bash at Haltham Theater. Um, any of your bands, now would be a great time to go ahead and call in. I say call in. You know what I need to do? I just remembered that um, I need to post the link in the comment section to make it convenient. I don't remember if I did that. Check this out. Gay Chaos and the Three Links present Halloween Slaughter. Uh, we promoted this last week, and that's why I'm going through it first. I have uh, other shows, a lot more shows to promote. Looking for a date on this one. Does anybody see the actual date? October 30th. There it is. I finally found it. So that's October 30th at three links. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to a flyer here that I can uh, leave up there, which I think this is a pretty cool one right here. This is another three links show, November the 3rd. And Gay Chaos again. So I'm going to leave that up there for Mr. X. While I go over here and I'm going to play us a song while I go down to the chats and see if I need to block anyone else because I already had to block two, two uh, gay prankers. So bring it on, gay prankers. I'm ready. I know how to block you. I'm ready. I'll be right there for that. But first, I'm going to, uh, you know, I know I got to move some shit on that way, right? It's time to move some shit out of the way, folks. But first, I'm going to play my own original song that I wrote with a kid named Jeremy in one day. I hope you enjoy it. I do.
place in the house. Hello, everybody. We got it. We got it. We got it. I want to say hello to Royce in the house. Hello, Royce in the house, everybody. And then also very important to me to see June. Hello, June. We're keeping it grizzly all in the chats here tonight. And that just means you got to give a fuck. Just a little bit of a fuck. Um, we had some gay gay bashers in the house just a few minutes ago in the live chat and uh i actually i saw it and i asked uh grego the question anyway because it was a safe of enough of a question that had an innuendo <laughs> and he handled it just fine because i i knew he would he's down to party so there you go yo buddy it's good to see you, Royce. Thank you for being here with us tonight. I'm just going through the concert calendar now. I'm really just getting started into the concert calendar, getting into the thick of it. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is go ahead and back out of the comments. So I'm going to do that right there. But I'm going to uh, encourage everyone to go ahead and comment. As a matter of fact, I want you to uh, comment one if you like the way that I'm doing this uh, concert calendar, just putting the flyers up there and talking. Um, and then two, uh, if you don't, if you think it sucks, it's okay. I like that. I, I want you to tell me that it sucks. So just put a two or a fuck you. It sucks or anything else that you want. Uh, this was, uh, Patron's inside, um, uh, inside Ridgely theater, I think is what we decided last week. And there's another show there at uh, the rail i have that on another flyer so halloween costume rail october 29th and then uh project rogue has a show if this flyer show hadn't already happened yeah november 5th so november 5th you've got project road there and then also always a favorite here with outlaw video tv is that rocky horror picture show and so um, coming up here is uh, at Mavericks Arlington. It's good to see some heavy metal shows there. 1022 already happened. So that was last weekend. They had a metal show at Mavericks in Arlington, which is a good thing, you know. All right. So shout out to Reno's uh, loving their bartender. Like that. Just telling y'all who's out there that they can come out and do some bar drinking and some uh jukebox music listening um again i'm just barely getting into these uh flyers that i have saved as a matter of fact i'm gonna skip right on over here up to where i know <laughs> i still have at least 20 shows to talk to you about here but this is my favorite personally i wished i could go this weekend everybody that can go to big robs this weekend to see dank and the trespassers you should go and then you should plan on going again. Like, just keep your party going all week long. Oh, it'd be two weeks. So even better. 
and uh head on over to the official album release party dank album release party with the trespassers who play that song kill dozer who's now my official shit pile moving song when i need to move a pile us honking doo doo uh i'll play that and move it right on out of the way so you'll get to see all of that at competition music there in fort worth uh if the weather is hot you know might get a little warm in there but that's okay just drink a few more beers you'll be all right but if the weather is nice that's going to be a payoff show with a 20 dollar custom dank cup that you'll be able to you know it's going to be a kegger it's a keg party all night long until they're floating i guess and so now I know I'm into my new uh, section here because of that little guy. Gave you a little flash. Um, this band here, I believe, is, uh, let's see, oh, I forget. But here we go, October 26th. So that's this weekend. Big Robs again. Big Robs, all the fucking good shows, man. So kudos to Big Robs. Uh, you know, really, uh, since Jerry was doing the shows at Diamond Gyms, that's Elmo Jones Productions was doing shows at Diamond Gyms, and they started doing the shows for a couple of years, right, at Mavericks. Uh, that's what it is. Those shows are gone. Um, nobody's doing those shows. So Rob's always did those shows, always. Rob's has always done good shows. And so they're really showing up now since nobody's doing shows nearby like arlington or uh arlington <laughs> but uh, congrats to uh terry johnson and big robs over there doing a kick-ass job so that's how i'm gonna do this i'm just gonna kind of talk about that show real quick one more time while i'm waiting for the next flyer to pop up so we got us a pit bull show at big robs again so look at you guys pit bull show with um argonaut the argonaut metonic and of course electric vengeance that's really the one that i saw it was like oh dude i gotta bring that up so here's your another opportunity to see electric vengeance and i would tell anyone and everyone that gets an opportunity to see that band get your asses out and see that band and enjoy electric vengeance and also big robs man get out there and support big robs have a good time so here's a picture of something that i threw up there i don't know where i found that i just saw that logo i think and went oh, okay that's a way to do it so there's the trespassers there so there she is i'm going to go back over here now uh in the house earlier hopefully she's still with us everybody hopefully i haven't run everyone off but uh tara lee tara lee in the house in the live chats uh, that was just as good a time as any to go ahead and talk for a minute about what i'm doing here with outlaw video tv tara anytime you would like to come on the show you don't have to show your face you can keep your camera turned off but if you want to get made up get dolled up and come on the show that'd be really cool bring the whole band please and uh, let's talk because I really dig the Killdozer song. And I can't wait to get at least one more from y'all to play here. But I really want you on the show. Again, not for an hour. I'm not going to do an hour long interview. Uh, we could, um, but if you stay for an hour, the idea is, is that I like for the bands to be able to come on and have a space for five minutes. I really just want people to think of Outlaw Video TV on Wednesday night as a promotional show for shows this weekend coming up really that's the primary focus and with that concept it will be a dfw concert calendar live on Streamyard and facebook like this or whatever other format i choose to go to but i'll be able to spread it out as i pick up another package if i pay i pay twenty dollars a month for this package here now if I go up to the $40 package, I can stream out multiple locations. And so for that alone, that's what I intend to do as soon as I can. Um, let's see. I thought I banned this dude. So let me get do this real fast, y'all. I'm looking at this and noticing that it's still in the live chat. 
an error occurred while trying to. So I'm going to play another song here in a minute if I see that person uh, chat again in the live. So I do have another uh, live chatter, Clint. Clint. Uh, Tara Lee, thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'm not done talking about that. I want everybody to realize, though, like the first five minutes that Grego spent on the show tonight, his whole performance, I mean, his whole time, his life is a performance. That's what he is, a, is a performer. I'm so fucking lucky and fortunate to have him in my world. But uh, what does the trespasser see, Clint? Well, hang on a minute, and I'm going to take a break and uh, come back to the concert calendar. And I will play the Trespasser song. It's called Kill Dozer, and it's freaking awesome. And I want to point out that Clint Holiday is from Facebook. Look at that, everybody. Clint made it over. Clint, can you put down in the live chat the, the button you have to push? Because I've had several people over on the Facebook page leave comments in the past saying that the posts, their comment didn't come through. And I looked into it and noticed that there was an extra step that you had to take from Facebook. And so I'd like to be able to tell people what to do if they're over on Facebook tuning in, how they can get their comments. Because you people in the live chats is, you know, a lot of what this show is all about and always will be. I'll try not to let it bog me down and derail me too much. Like this, I was talking about how bands can come on the show Think of it as the first five minutes of Grego. He came on, he talked about Waja, he talked about uh, love, sick, drug, and um, talked about the shows they have coming up and the music they have coming out. So in that five-minute clip, that's really all that you need. I mean, that was awesome. But then from there, he spent another five minutes and ten minutes we were able to talk a little more about the Waja record. So that's the idea. Five, ten minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. And get the fuck out. Get your shit posted. Get your shows posted. Get your promotions done. And get back to your life. Get back to your baby. Get back to your movie. You know? I'm not expecting everyone to think that this is the absolute coolest thing in the world ever to exist. But I am expecting enough people to tune into this show, especially when more of the bands do tune in and then hop on the panel to, like I said, just to be here for five and ten minutes. Now, from there, the other concept is to have a panel, to have, you know, at least one other person other than myself. And eventually I will have kind of like a, a regular, like a host, you know. I have a couple of people in mind, but if I do that, I really need a very entertaining second person, like someone who plays guitar and knows every damn song in the world and can just play music for us instantly and, you know, jive and shoot the shit and have a good time. And uh, so that's what I will have eventually. Friends, anybody listening. Uh, so that's another thing, really. All my bands, any of you guys want to hop on air and play a fucking song or just well a lead for us, be great. And uh, tell us about your music. And, you know, again, five minutes, ten minutes, you're gone. So the invitation is out there to everyone. And uh, the reason I stopped and talk about it, if you just now tuned in to listen, is for Tara Lee here. Tara Lee is the bass player that you're looking at in that band right there, the Trespassers. So since we spent the time talking about it and uh, talking about the shows, what I'm going to do is work my way back over here to my branding space is what this is called. Uh, this is back end technology. I'm working my way through here. There's the show where you can go see the Trespassers this coming up weekend, the Halloween show with a uh, dressing contest, costume contest. So let's move a big honking pile. You are now listening to the brand new The Trespassers. And the song is Kill Dozer.
Well, God damn. I was just trying to get the next song set up, and I ended up uh, starting it. So, what you gonna do, bad boy? How about that? Clint played some trespassers for you, buddy. Yeah, man, I really like that song a lot. So thank you very much for asking. Thank you very much for supporting the trespassers here. Listening to them at Outlaw Video TV. And uh, man, if you're here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, make sure you get your ass out to see the trespassers. I think this is the flyer here. Let's see, there you go. One more. That is the singer for one of these other bands here. Here you go, Creeper coming up. I'm going to come back through these. <clears throat> I really, since I showed that chick, I wanted to go back to this other flyer. Uh, Annie Jump Cannon, I don't think that's it. Uh, Better Now. I believe that is the singer for that band, Better Now, right there. So, Die presents Annie Jump Cannon, whoever all those bands are. I don't see the venue. Uh, Killer Tacos. So, that's a Denton show up in Killer Tacos. So, you guys up there in Denton, y'all have some cool little killer shows there at Killer Tacos. And everybody can go see, uh, there it is, that little cutie pie sing in uh, Better Now. And if I'm wrong, somebody correct me in the uh, chats there because I would sure like to know. I wouldn't want to be wrong about that. But I believe that's where I, I have that next to that flyer. So I'm just waiting for this. How about this? Growl Records presents Set the Tone. The Brokes, Blood of His Rival, Neutral Territory. It's a costume encouraged. So a lot of Halloween shows. And uh, this is Friday the 26th. So again, this Friday coming up. And uh, that's Growl Records. So that's also Division Brewery. And just very thankful to them. They're really the ones that have had the only kick-ass shows. And their shows have been the best right in Arlington. They did a two-day punk rock show just last weekend. All right. So I've got a couple of extra shows. I'm coming back to this one one more time to make sure I didn't skip it fully. Hey, dudes, what's up? It's those guys. All right, the Culling Tour. I think this is a rail show or something. Where is it at? A forthright booking. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Yeah, the rail. I knew I'd recognized it from the other layout. And so for the record, anybody paying attention, I got these off of their event page. So when you make a header image to fit your event page, that's what it looks like when you bring it into a video program. It fits the screen perfectly. So that's what you want to do is spend time with your event page, making it look kick ass like that. So that when I grab it, I can bring it in here. Easy cheesy. And then also, um, I will be making edited videos. And when I'm editing videos, just like I do here sometimes, I do edit the graphics sometimes. But um, when I'm making videos, I will be editing graphics. But again, the graphics that people send me that are ready to go uh, or that I can just go grab off of your event page. No big deal. That's ready for me to do. That's where this came from. And all these that look like this, not just from the rail, but the other shows like the one coming up uh, at Rob's. Rob's has figured out too. I can grab his big Rob's header images and they fit nice on there too. So thank you guys. Um, very important that you know that's what's going on. And thank you, The Rail Club, a kick-ass show. And that's this weekend, the 27th. So there you go. Let me uh, get back into these here. All right. What is this one? I think this is another rail show, but it's one of their off shows. I can't see it yet. I'm waiting for it to show up. There it is. My Chemical Romance. Whoa. I grab that emo revival. And uh, 
Still looking for the venue. Always like to know the venue first, really. Uh, come on, come on. And then the date. So I'm looking for both of those and I'm fucking blind. Okay, there it is, the rail club. See, I thought it was the rail. And it's October 30th, so that's Sunday. That's this Sunday, so they're, they got a big weekend. Big weekend at the rail club this weekend in Fort Worth. My Chemical Romance. I'm guessing that's like a tribute, but that's My Chemical Romance, that's a big deal. Paramore alone would be a big deal. 21 Pilots, I just thought that would be huge. Those bands are playing there, that's weird. With special guests to Jiren Campbell, Alan Connell, and La Paz, and uh, Raj Kotari. I tried my best. And Fonte Beth. I kept going just for that. And tickets available at Purple Path. That's a rail show coming up right there. Pretty interesting shit, right? Okay, so this is a punk rock show I got up here. Um, it's not just a show, it's a radio show. And I uh, got this off of uh, Electric Vengeance Facebook page. So this is a show that they're telling you to go listen to their band on, Electric Vengeance. And that looks like something that I haven't cropped yet. So let's go ahead and see what it is. Um, ah, it's Raid. So I haven't cropped this raid yet. So it's going to be a cool show. Um, they're doing another show this weekend. That's where I ran out of time. Sorry, everybody. I just ran out of time today, but I did cover all the big shows, you know, all, big shows, all of our shows, the shows we go to. Uh, when the show grows a little bit, I'll bore everybody with the big touring acts and bring in some big touring act uh, interviews. And I will be doing all that. The only thing I'm really waiting on to bring in my bands, because I have bands lined up actually already. Uh, everybody go listen to Bad Marriage. If you want some good fucking Aerosmith, uh, Van Halen-ish, you know, it's kind of in those veins. Uh, just sexy rock and roll. That's Bad Marriage. I listen to that regularly. And then also what I should be talking about in my news section tonight is uh, 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 I already told you about walls of sound, but while I'm thinking about uh, resist and bite, that's my band right there, resist and bite. I love all the things like those are my favorite three bands of pretty much 2022. Uh, throw in some Jason Greens, the uh, Sin City Rejects. That fucking shit's good. And I listen to it. Like, these are bands that I actually listen to. But I really, I listen to Walls of Sound. Like, I get that. I listen to that to get me going. So that's my kind of first do is Walls of Sound. And so from there, um, I'm usually going to, uh, to resist and bite. Resist and bite. And then uh, I end up over at Bad Religion and go, damn, a bad religion, bad marriage, bad marriage, and go, fuck, this shit is good. Okay, so anyway, rib cage, fucking rib cage, y'all. Come on, come at me now. Rib cage, and this is a Halloween show at Dead Dog Barn. So Rib Cage and uh, the band Raid with my friend and buddy, always been good to me, Randy Roy. That's his band, Raid. They're playing at Dead Dog. How about that? Anybody in the comments? I'm going to go over here and check the comments real fast. Say hey, we got Mike Talk Show over there. Good evening, Mr. Outlaw Video Team. And a very good evening to you as well kind sir what i'm gonna go ahead and do i just went through the concert calendar i'm gonna encourage all the bands to do other things one is to send me your flyers that makes it a little easier for me and uh two would be to um on the show just promote your shows coming up this weekend or next weekend and any music that you have coming out if you give me a file that's 30 megabytes or less, then I can play it live right here 
on Outlaw Video TV. Just like you heard me play that Killloser song, that was the Trespassers. And you can go see them this weekend and the weekend uh, of November the 11th at Competition with Dank. It's Dank's album release party and keg party. So I play a lot of new music right here and I want to keep it that way because I love new music. I want to support everyone always. I'm not against nobody. I'm for everybody. I'm for all clubs. I know we can't be at all the clubs always, but together we can all do a lot of kick-ass shit. So for example, Bruce Gibson. Bruce is on the moose. Uh, I should have his fucking flyer. I need to design a graphic for him or go steal one off of his page. But uh, Bruce, anybody that's fortunate enough to know Bruce and get him out to your shows, that guy promotes better than anybody uh, in Dallas-Fort Worth, heavy metal, rock and roll. So cheers to Bruce Gibson, Bruce on the moves. And then you also have the concert calendar. Concert calendar over there, Rick Hare. He's a, got a kick-ass show and sometimes has guests. And it's always a fun show. So thank you, Rick, for what you do with concert calendar. You got Godfather TV. That's Jeff Dennis, the Godfather of Dallas, Fort Worth, heavy metal music. Godfather TV. So that's Jeff Dennis, man. I remember that guy all the way back from when he had a little monkey. That's right. Jeff Dennis had a spiral monkey, a spider monkey. If Dallas Fort Worth didn't know, now you do. But uh, everybody support Jeff Dennis. Um, uh, Royce in the house. Uh, Royce does music related stuff. He does some streams, right? Royce, do you do streams? So go check out Royce. But uh, more than that would be his friend, Dan McNew, and my friend and your friend, Dan McNew. He is about to come out of the gates any minute now. If he had not already in, I might have missed it because I've been so freaking busy, right? But Dan McNew, uh, with his show, called Just The Facts Man. Over at his channel here on YouTube, you can see uh, the uh, Elvis Presley performing in Hawaii that he shot himself. You can see the Challenger explode over East Texas that he filmed himself, teenager. So Dan McNew, boy, he is one hell of a player. So we got a lot of people doing a lot of cool things here. And I hope I haven't left even out. Uh, Todd Pack. Todd Pack of Iron Jaw. I'm about to play his song, Iron Jaw. Tonight we raid. Uh, but Todd Pack has a show I saw. And uh, anybody else who has a show, I'm not about hoarding this process. That's not what... I am. That's not what Outlaw Video TV is. I'm about teaming up and working together. And I know everybody's about teaming up and working together, but fuck you and suck my dick because you saw Grego. You've seen Rick Perry on here. You've seen TJ. You've seen Bolt Neck Studios, Charlie Redding. You've seen um, Jim Wright, Avalon Studios. You've seen Dave Jarvis, Dank, okay? This shit ain't going to happen. This shit is happening. You guys just need to fucking hop on board and take advantage of it. And by doing so, obviously it will multiply what's already happening and make this format very effective for all of us, for Grego, for Rick Perry, Dave Jarvis, for the Trespassers, for Big Robs, for the Rail, for... Uh, for Growl Records and Division Brewery. And for how about Dirty Job? Dirty Job fucking Waja played it. Dirty Job last week. That's the most killer thing. Uh, I actually went down there. I went down there with my grandson. And we went over and checked out a live marching band that was phenomenal. I have those videos. I just haven't posted them yet. I need to post them. I have no other reason to get them off of my phone. 
But so, uh, and then there's the Mike Talk Show there. Not to forget about Mike Talk Show. Uh, Y'all go check out his channel. So see, I have a big heart of love. I also have a friend, Gold Eagle. So if there's any cool people out there that want to go watch a cool chick paint pictures, that's what she does, paints and talks. Um, it's not going to be for everybody, but it might be for you or it might be for your girlfriend or whatever. Uh, it's Gold Eagle. And if you go to my YouTube channel here in my community, you'll find to scroll down a couple of posts and you'll find a couple of links to that. Uh, also, now is a great time to go ahead and shout out to Jim Terry TV. Thank you, Jim Terry TV, for everything that you've done to help me and all of the bands here at Outlaw Video TV. That's what this has always been about for me, more than anything else at all whatsoever, is just sharing music. That's who I am. I'm one big ball of fucking love. A hunk, a hunk of fucking love. Oh, a honk a honk a fucking love. That's what I am, man. I share. But I share the best of the best, which is good fucking music. So all of my friends that have good fucking music need to hop on here for about five minutes and promote your shows. Especially if you have shows and I'm like the guys from Ribcage. I know you guys fucking hop on here. What are you waiting on? <laughs> uh, Randy Roy, what's Randy waiting on? He was in the uh, chat last week. But again, um, you know, I kind of have an idea. I started talking about this earlier uh, with the trespassers and then talking about Greg Kramer. Without Greg Kramer's baby, he wouldn't have been on the show. Like, he just literally doesn't know how to do it. You, I sent him a link, and all he had to do was on the link. If you have an iPhone, you have to copy the link and paste it into the Safari browser. But that's pretty easy to do. And when you click on the link, that's what it tells you is, hey, you have to copy this and paste it. So it's pretty easy to hop on the show live. But even though it's that easy, it's still challenging for most musicians because believe it or not, most real musicians like Grego playing in two different bands, if you include mine, it'd be three. Did you hear his heart? Man, if there's any fucking bass players, uh, you know, I can't really rehearse with Grego. So if there's any drummers that want to get some rehearsal in, you want know, to fucking jam? I've got 20 songs. I literally have 20 songs. And I, I write songs every day. So I've, I've gotten so bad about songwriting that my phone is full and every time i listen to it i'm like oh yeah that's the new part for hungry for blood and i'm like what slapping myself going there's a new part for hungry for blood my song hungry for blood is really like playing it it's the best song that i have it's called hunger for blood it's killer but i just today that's why it's fresh in my mind i came across that recording and went ah, i gotta play that so that's how it works. Uh, Mike, I clicked on that. You do you any shows in Oklahoma? No, brother, I don't do any shows at all. That's kind of what I'm referring to is that Grego, the guy that plays drums on my two songs, Hard Candy Girl and Tell You the Truth, which Mike, you have already heard both of the songs multiple times just by uh, being forced to. I am programming them into your being here at Outlaw Video TV on all these silly shows that I do. But, um, so, no, I had a band prior to the uh, pandemic, and that band was refined. Like, we were sounding really good and kicking major ass. Uh, I believe, uh, anyone can argue with me, I always do, but I believe that me and my dead friends were absolutely the hottest fucking band uh, going in Dallas, Fort Worth. Or, you know, there wasn't anybody hotter. We, you know, it's not like we had, we didn't have an opportunity to uh, rise to the height of DFW fame, but we were fucking rising, you know, there's no question about it. You can um, see those videos here on the Law Video TV 
YouTube channel. Hello, everybody. I went ahead and got rid of that so I can see you and talk to you. Um, in Cali, where I used to live, I knew a lot of Arthur's music scene. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, everybody wants to be in L.A. or somewhere out in California becoming famous. There was a time when people thought you'd become famous coming to Dallas. Uh, uh, insane Clown Posse did it by passing out their music to high school kids and their insane posse uh, clown band. All right, I need to cough. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. At least spare you the noise of my cough. So uh, that's it, Mike, is that I, I had a band and we were kicking ass prior to the pandemic. I had a personal family tragedy, all right? So if you don't ask me again, it really pisses me off. I've already gotten past it, but I need to kind of stay past it. Recording these two songs is part of that. I did effectively get two fucking bad songs recorded. Like I said, I have at least 20 more. I have two already at Avalon uh, recorded to, um, to uh, Metronome. So anybody who doesn't write songs and is wondering what songwriting is, um, <laughs> he plays the drums and the horns. Hey man, playing horns is kick ass too, bro. Glad I saw that. Jello. Hey man, uh, I'm Jello. I mean, I I I'm not. I don't have a tattoo, and I don't really know any Juggalo song. Like I don't. <laughs> so don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> Right. I just said I'm Juggalo, but I don't even know songs. So that that might get you fucking killed. Right. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Uh, but uh, I'm Juggalo in spirit. You know, I'm Freak. The name of my other band was Mr. Freak and the Freak Show Band. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of respect for those guys being considered a, uh, a, a gang and everything. And then. Also, the way that they promoted as much as they did, that's why I call myself Juggler. I did. I don't call myself Juggler. It's so funny. But I can relate, and I always say that at the right time when the opportunity comes up. <coughs> because um, they promoted right here in Dallas, Fort Worth. They promoted in their hometown of Detroit, Michigan, to, and they conquered up there. And, uh, you know, where where uh you know detroit and so uh they as a second city or the next city outside of their hometown or home area they chose dallas and they came here with a couple of buses i believe that were wrapped and took music to the high school kids and just gave it to them and uh they did such a good job as an independent label they're all independent there no record company ever you know signed them and they built their whole thing themselves so they are the epitome of uh All right, sorry, I'm gonna have to go. My throat's towards. It's more that we fam. I got. Uh, I don't got a tattoo. Yep. So, hey, dude, I I would get one, but I don't have many tattoos. You don't see a tattoo I have. Check this out. That is fucking O oh, sleeper. Let me get it in there. There you go. O oh, sleeper, everybody. The new breed. We are the new breed. So I've got that one. I've got a tattoo here, and then I've got a tattoo here. And uh, don't ask me how long my forearms are, unless you're a beautiful lady. Beautiful ladies on here. Uh, um, I'll show you my hand size, beautiful lady. Um, so, uh, Mike, you're commenting a lot here now. I don't know how many of these I may have missed, so I'm just going to click on the last one, get caught up. But that's the deal is anybody who wants to play drums, it's really pretty easy because I can um, uh, track a, a scratch track and then you can, I can send that to you and you can play drums and send it back. But you would have to pay for your studio and donate your time and all that. Because otherwise, if I'm paying someone, I'm paying Grego. And I hate to say it that way. 
Grego is very fair to me. What he's asking, I couldn't get any other drummer to do it for less, I promise you. So it's nothing like that. Grego is a badass and if you heard he's like got a kit set aside for my sound. I mean, that's so fucking near and dear and precious, man. And it doesn't make my life easier uh, with everything going on. So um, part of me doing this show, bro, was to promote my music and hopefully find a drummer that I can rehearse with, find a lead guitar player and uh, a bass player. So, yeah, I'm ready to put a band back together, everybody in Dallas, Fort Worth. But I would like that band to be me and my dead friends. So anybody that wants to do me and my dead friends, and uh, one of the reasons we were doing well, Mike, is I had a hot ass bass player, really very nice lady, nice, good friend to me, but she happened to be hot as hell. She's a little skinny, so I've heard a couple of people go, hey, a little skinny for me, skinny rail. But uh, dude, she had an ass, she had a smile, beautiful eyes, she's just a beautiful girl. Uh, most everybody uh, said that without me having to say a word, so. I was very fortunate that she was in the band. We do to do that band. You have to rehearse like three times a week. You know, you, if you're trained musicians, you might could get by with two times a week, but really and truly everybody knows whether they rehearse twice a week or not, they know they should as a band. So every band should rehearse at least a minimum of two times a week, every fucking week. It should be for playing shows or if you're recording. You know, real simple. So, you know, for at least, I don't know, depends on your talent level, at least a few months. You should be playing twice a week, three times a week. But then from there, <coughs> you also have to be playing music um, on your own. Like me, I have to do vocal rehearsals, so I have to do that. I have to play the guitar part, so you do that. So really, I think that being a musician is like a full-time job. And if you don't have those kind of hours to commit, it's okay. But you're doing something less than trying to be a full-time musician if you're playing less than full-time hours, all right? So some of those hours might be recording studio time, but you still have to get your time in and you wouldn't be in the recording studio had you not already, already been playing, like I said, twice a week, three times a week. <coughs> so that's the deal. Anybody in DFW ready to get that band together and uh, like it or love it, lump it, man. It's my biggest challenge with um, Greg Kramer there who's ready to record. Um, if all I'm doing is studio, meaning that I go in, I do this, the scratch track, the, uh, track to metronome. And then that's what he needs because it has my guitar and it has the timing. That's what he needs. And so he can get drums from there. Some of the songs, like the one I have recorded or one of them, I do have another, uh, recording with a kick-ass drummer to give Grego an idea of exactly how all the parts go. It makes it a lot easier and faster for him to learn that than it does to make it up. But, uh, you know, I don't have drums for all of those songs. You know, like I said, I've got 20 songs. I have drum parts for maybe, maybe three or four more. And that drummer is Josh Ng for the record. If anyone's listening and cares, Josh Ng, I love you and you're welcome here at Outlaw Video TV. Always and at my house. Um, always to jam. So, all right, everybody, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to wrap up the show. I'm going to look at the comments. If anybody has anything, can't wait to hear you jam and rock and roll it out. Thank you, bro, man. I had a blast. Like I'm, I'm telling you the, uh, uh, stage like that place, as long as I've rehearsed, as long as I've been playing twice a week and three times a week with, uh, other, other band members with a full band. And then I've also been rehearsing myself every day and I just have that music vibe full on. Then at that point, 
playing on stage is like the funnest, most fucking comfortable place for me to be. And I'm comfortable everywhere, so it's not like that. But on stage, it's like, God, I feel like I belong there. I wrote a song called Home that was about playing on stage and that being your home. But I thought better of it and changed that song to what is called um, Be Yourself Like No One Else. That's what that song is called. It's a uh, me and my dead friends original. Be yourself like no one else. All right, I've been bullshitting. I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of things real quick, but I don't think I played this song already tonight. If I did, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and play it twice. Motherfucking Iron Jaw tonight. Be <laughs>
Good evening, my friends. Thank you for joining us here through the Midnight Hour Outlaw Video TV. We're going to keep this show cruising right along for all my booze and buddies tonight, rock and rolling. Thank you for joining Outlaw Video TV every Wednesday night, 9 to 11, or whenever I get done fucking around, if you know what I'm saying, because... I always got to give a shout out from Dank, the band of Dank, and all my drinking buddies still in jail. All my drinking buddies are in jail. My drinking buddies ending up in jail. Joining us tonight for Outlaw Video TV. We want to say thank you to Salty Pancakes. Thank you very much, Kathy Waters, for stopping by with that big 333 Salty Crew Love. I appreciate it. I feel like Outlaw Video TV would not be the same without your love and the love of Salty Pancakes. I am looking forward to a lot of big things together, if you know what I mean here at Outlaw Video TV. And so, likewise, same thing to you, Mike. Mike Talks Show. Thank you very much for joining us again this evening for our music show. As you always do, Outlaw Video TV, brother, would not be the same without you. So thank you, genuinely. Thank you for joining us. You're always welcome, brother. It's always good to see you here Monday nights, 
Tuesday nights when I'm going crazy or Wednesday nights when I'm doing my music show here at Law Video TV. So on that, as we say good night tonight, I'm going to give a real shout to Mr. X. Thank you, Mr. X, for being so cool to me always. And Jim Terry TV. Everybody get on over to Jim Terry TV. That's where you want to be every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, just check out all the cool shit that they got going on because they have two shows now or two channels. They have Jim Terry TV and then they have Jim Terry TV 2. So a lot going on over there, and I owe a lot to Jim Terry TV, and especially also Mr. X. I truly, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, hope you get your painting yesterday, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So thank you for tuning in and listening always, everyone, every Wednesday night right here on Outlaw Video TV. As I share my heart with you, the things that I love, I share. And that's how it works. So thank you, and we'll do it again next time. Why, here comes our criminal now. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh.
Here comes our criminal now. What? Thank you for joining us tonight on Outlaw Video TV. Be sure to check out Greg Kramer, Grego Drums, Waja, Lovesick Drug, our featured artist this evening, Greg Kramer, Grego Drums. Thank you, everybody else. Thank you, Iron Jaw, for your song, Tonight We Raid. And thank you, Dank, for all my drinking buddies. Still in jail. And thank you very much to Kill Dozer or to The Trespassers for your song, Kill Dozer. All brand new music being played right here on Outlaw Video TV every Wednesday night, 9 to 11 p.m. or whenever the fuck I want. All right. Thank you for coming along for the ride. I hope the rest of your evening is a nice slide and you get to wake up in the morning kissing the sunrise. This is Outlaw Video TV once again saying thank you and we'll see you next fucking week. Thank <laughs> you.